What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another one, and today we're going to be looking at the V-Set 10 Plus. This is going to be my 300 mile review on this thing. And this thing has been a total blast, guys. I've loved this scooter so much. I didn't think that I was going to like an electric scooter as much as I'm loving this thing. But I think it really has its place. And I think that this, even though I'm a huge electric unicycle rider and huge fan of that, I definitely have had a total blast on this, and I definitely see a place for it. Now these scooters are not toys guys. One thing I can definitely tell you after riding this thing and being on it after somebody that comes from something you could argue the electric unicycles arguably are a little bit more extreme than the e-scooters in the eyes of people that may be not into either one of them. Like if you're looking at this from the outside and you see an e-scooter and then you see one of these electric unicycles that can go 50 miles an hour. I would assume you, you look at it and think, okay, the electric unicycle looks like you're really going to hurt yourself on that thing. And the e-scooter is probably just, you know, a walk in the park. Now, if we're talking about the bird scooters and whatnot and the lime scooters, yes. But this thing is a total different ball game, guys. This thing is ridiculous. Like, this is legit everything you wanted as a kid packed into a little board right here that you can just get on and just rip. I'm like I say a board because this thing once you're over 40 miles an hour guys and you put your weight on the back of this thing the front end really doesn't matter very much guys and I, kn I know that sounds wild but w it took about 300 miles to get to where I can actually comfortably ride this thing and um, and figure out where the pressure points are in order to make it ride right and guys once you take off on this thing and you're over about 40 miles an hour, put all your weight back here. This is whenever you're in a straight line. Put all your weight on the back and just have that suspension kind of engaging over every bump. You can, you can make it engage over every little thing. And you kind of get this little float to it where it really feels dialed in and you're just cruising about 42 miles an hour all your weights back here and every bump or anomaly is just you're gliding over it from the front front of this machine right here and the front end really doesn't matter too much guys all your control and weight and whatnot is coming from back here and you're just kind of leaning and when you're going into your corners and whatnot that's whenever you really put your your weight forward and really step on the front of this thing and then drive into your corners and whatnot And you really, like, 
especially for the guys out there that have rode mountain bikes and motorcycles and stuff before, riding one of these performance scooters is a totally different thing than anything you've ever experienced. It is way different, guys. And it is going to be interesting to anyone out there that has been into extreme sports just getting used to this thing. Like, I love learning new things. I went up the other day and just on a whim, man, we went um, paragliding. Uh, off the side of a uh, um off the side of what is the mountain called lookout mountain over in golden colorado but i love learning new things man and i was just so interested in like how the you know how the, the pulling on the things work and how you slow the parachute down and the paraglider or whatnot but this is a whole new ball game guys just like it was for me learning how that paraglider worked It's awesome in the fact that, I mean, it really is, guys. Once you get going over 40 on this, you're just cruising on this board right here and on this back wheel, essentially. And then this whole whole assembly up here really isn't even touching the ground very much. I mean, it, of course it is, but I'm saying in weight-wise and control-wise, it's pretty wild how this thing operates. And then, it's, I mean, it's just like a dirt bike on sandy conditions, kind of, how you want to ride this thing. And I, I really like it. I really do enjoy the way this thing rides, man. It's given me absolutely no issues. And I've been hard on it, guys. This we this um, electric um, scooter was sent over by Rev Rides. You can check them out below, guys. I have a discount below. And it, I'd really appreciate it if you did. If you want to get this scooter, go through Rev Rides. If you see it cheaper anywhere, use my code, Chooch50. Um, from Rev Rides, it'll get it to the lowest price of anywhere out there. And if there is a one of these scooters that is a lower price from a U.S. Se seller, um, Rev Rides can probably work with you and get it to a price match, and then still include the Chooch Tech discount that's listed below. But they got you in good hands, man. I know all the guys that that work at Rev Rides, so if you want to get one of these things, go through the link below, and it helps me out at no extra cost to you and I greatly appreciate it. It helps me keep doing this little gig and I can keep bringing y'all cool videos about it. But all in all guys, on the back right here you see how my fender's sticking up more. What happened is I looped it out and actually drug this across the ground but it was a cool way that this happened is it bent this bracket up right here and then right here perfectly to where it gives my mud guard more of a, like a cool aggressive angle on it. Like I really honestly like this. And I, I just fixed it, guys. The, the thing did crack. That's the only thing that's happened. And I, you can buy aftermarket mud guards for these things that are actually really cool and that are just kind of like a flat piece that sticks up like this. And I love how um, the look of the scooter changes just by the mud guard, getting a new mud guard on it, and, and or either just taking the stock one and bending this up, you know, in order to make it look a little bit different. But... Um, that that's why my mud guard looks different. It literally just happened like that. I looped it out, wheelied it out, and it bent just like that. And so I was like, okay, that's actually pretty cool, and kept it that way. But you can buy mud guards that actually have that stance to it or that that posture to it, which look really cool. And it is a little bit dirty, but I wanted I I wanted you to see that I've been riding the thing actually. And um, for the most part, guys, you can just wipe this thing down with a, a wet rag and maybe like some. I have some motorcycle plastic uh, cleaner in there, and I just clean this, wipe it down. And if I'm actually on like on on a really muddy ride or anything like that, one hack out there is this. You know those little pump bu bug sprayer things. You can get like a one gallon little um, bug sprayer thing on Amazon, and it is just so you can mix your own bug spray formula in it. What I do with that is I get a clean one because I live in an apartment. And getting to the water hose is just, it's ridiculous to have to get all the way over there to the community water hose to just wash one of these off. So what I do in my situation, because I literally don't even have a water hose outside that's convenient to get to, is I take one of those bug sprayers, fill it up, put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in the bottom, and then fill the rest up with water, shake it up, and then spray this whole thing down, dude. And like literally, it's just the bug sprayer, but this isn't very much to have to clean. And that thing is powerful. You can get in all the little grooves in here and clean this thing off real nice. That's literally what I'm about to go do to it. And I was gonna show y'all that, but just ex 
explaining it is probably way easier than getting out there and trying to show you um, exactly what I mean by it. But literally just one of those bug sprayers. I'll link one below actually. They're like $10 and it makes cleaning this thing a breeze. Spray it down easy. Your, your soap is already mixed into the formula. Wipe the thing down with a, a you know clean wash rag and then hit it with some um, motorcycle plastic cleaner. I'll link that as well below and then just wipe that down with a rag and clean all your components with the rag you know in here really good after you um, wash it with the soap and everything. But for the most part man, I've had no problems. I've rode it through rain, snow, I've got this thing extremely muddy, I've crashed it twice now really hard and it's not bent anything or broken any levers or anything like that. Like I thought for sure my handlebars would bend or anything like that. but. I, I haven't had an issue, guys, and I've really been hard on this thing. So it stood up, man. It's not a a you know a poorly built scooter by any means. This thing is substantial, guys, and I think anybody spending spending their money on it wants to know that. I mean, they want to know that hey, it can be crashed a few times, it can be rode through water, and it can be given absolute hell because that's what I've done to it in the time I've had it, and it, it's been fun, man. I've had a great time on it, and it's worked like a charm and blown me away um, as somebody that has never had an e-scooter before this thing is is awesome dude but be be careful on it bro this is a 50 mile per hour capable machine right here and I'm, I'm somebody that loves extreme sports but I'm telling you this thing will throw you on your rear end if you put it in that sport mode yeah I'm a sport mode if you put this thing in sport mode, it is going to dump you, bro, at least one time. I'm telling you, it's a learning curve to it. But, I mean, third gear is enough. You put this thing in sport mode and dual drive, and it is, dude, it is ridiculous. Dude, going 50 miles an hour on an electric scooter is absolutely awesome. It's terrifying and awesome in the same light, guys. I can't imagine one of those, like, Ryan race scooters, dude, that goes, like, 70 or 80, dude. That would just be... You'd have to put me in, in warrior armor, dude, to do that. Because I wear the most extreme of all my armor. When I'm going 50 miles an hour on this, guys, and i got to get out there and, and do some more filming because I'm getting way better on this thing, and I'm loving it. But I really do wear all my gear on it. No jokes. Right? The motorcycle shoes, knee pads, full face helmet, everything if I'm going sport mode on this guys. And of course, it's an e-scooter. You can choose how fast you want to ride it. You can just putt around on it, you know, 20 miles an hour and just cruise, you know, talk to the ladies, go cruising down the beach, whatnot, and that's your choice. But I'm telling you, if you go out on this thing, you're going to want to have fun on it. And if you're going out to send it and you know that's what you're going to do, Put your gear on, guys, because it is crazy fast. This thing is legit quick, dude. But anyways, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I'll see you dudes in the next one.